Though World War II would soon come to a close, the 10th Mountain Division had not yet fought its final battle, and there was still ground to be covered in northern Italy. Major General Hayes had moved his division swiftly through the Po River Valley, though his men had been unobstructed by the mountain ranges and enemy fortifications. The last miles of Italy would proceed more slowly as they chased retreating German soldiers towards the Alps. For three days, the 10th Battalions leapfrogged up the shores of Lake Garda, slowed by the tunnels that the retreating Germans had intentionally blown up along the eastern shore in order to slow the unstoppable force pursuing them. Finally, on April 30th, 1945, soldiers reached the town of Torboli at the northern tip of Lake Garda. On that same day, an assault force of soldiers used amphibious vehicles to cross to Garda's western shore. One of the vehicles capsized during the crossing, claiming the lives of 24 men. Those who made it to the other side carried on their mission and successfully captured Italian dictator Benito Mussolini's last home, or castle, as the troops called it. Back in Torboli, Colonel Darby was killed by a German artillery fire. Two days later, on May 2, 1945, the German army in Italy surrendered, but the 10th 86th Regiment continued to push north into the Alps, near the Italian and Austrian border, heading into Europe to aid other units. There they met troops from the 44th Infantry Division, who were traveling south after the Battle of the Bulge. Their assistance, however, would not be required. On May 7, 1945, Germany officially surrendered, and World War II in Europe came to a close.